Welcome to Rounding with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to discuss rounding and the rules of rounding. And as you can see on your screen, you have six numbers that we are going to round to the underlined digit. So you should have something out to write with and write on, whether it's a pencil and paper, uh, a mini whiteboard and a marker, whatever you have available. You should write these out with me. And at any point, if you feel confident enough to go ahead of me and uh, do some on your own, press pause, finish whatever's left. When you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. If you want to do all six on with me, along with me, that's fine as well. So let's jump into rounding here. And we have our rounding rules up top. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So let's take a look at number one. We have 38. And we have the three underline that's in the tens place. So we are going to see if this number is closer to 30 or 40. So let's take a look next door. We have an eight. So does that tell the three to rest, stay at three, stay at 30, or round up to 40? Five or more raise the score. Well, eight is more than five, so we round up. So our rounded number would be 40 for number one. Let's take a look at number two here. 527. So we are rounding to the hundreds place. We are seeing if this number is closer to 500 or 600. So let's take a look next door. This two is four or less. So we let the five rest. So the five stays the same and our rounded number is 500, right? This five stays the same and then everything to the right changes to a zero. So let's take a look at number three here. We're rounding the tens place, that four. So we look next door and we have five or more there. So we need to raise the score. We need to round up to 950. That four is going to change to a five, round up, and then everything to the right of the underlying digit is changed to a zero. So let's take a look at number four here. We have 38,862. What place is that eight in, the underlined eight? Hopefully you're thinking the thousands place. So what we're doing here is we are seeing if this number is closer to 38,000 or is it going to round up to 39,000? So let's take a look next door. That eight is five or more, so it tells the other eight to round up to 39. So we keep everything to the left the same. This eight is going to round up to a nine. And then what do we change everything to? To the right of the underlined digit. Hopefully you're thinking zeros. So that number is closer to 39,000 then it is 38,000. It rounds to 39,000. Let's take a look at number five here. We have a one underlined. And that one is in the millions place. So we are going to take a look next door to see if this number rounds up to two million or will round to one million. So that's a five or more there. So we need to raise the score. The one is going to round up to two. And then we need to think, what happens to all the digits to the right of the millions place? You guessed it. Everything to the right is changed to a zero. Now, would that be enough zeros? No, we need three more. So with these larger numbers in value, make sure you have the right number of digits and everything is in the correct place. So let's take a look at number six here. We have a four in the millions place. We are rounding to the millions to see if this number is closer to 54 million or will it round up to 55 million? 
So let's take a look next door. We have our arrow there. So that's a four or less, so we need to let it rest. So the five stays the same, the four rests, and everything to the right changes to a zero. So we have 54 million. That number is closer to 54 million than it is 55 million. So there you have it. There are a few examples of how to round numbers and what the rounding rule is. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, peace.